assassin and the assassin's opponent Mark Fleming and they're both big men Tully Blanchard this should be a, a whale of a match well I tell you what you know I've, I've wrestled Mark Fleming a couple times uh, even here on television and every time he gets a little bit tougher a little bit tougher and a couple times I, I've had that little mental lapse and he's got me in some holds and got me into some near pin situations and the assassin better uh, better not relax any any at all in this match or we could have a big upset all right right away the assassin as he had Fleming back into the corner got a knee right up into the midsection and a hard chop and boy he caught him with a blow coming off the ropes tell him when you when you come off the ropes like that after being whipped into him you've really got a real full power hit of steam coming haven't you you've got an extra extra lo lot of velocity coming off because the, the ropes are so tight right they come out it's just like a slingshot effect and boy when you hit an elbow coming off of that and it stops you dead in your track that's something you got to remember well you got the assassin over 300 pounds coming at you the same amount of speed you're going at him and it's uh, the irresistible force of the immovable object all right and here's some of the young fans right there you saw them enjoying these matches as we've got a full house here in the arena all right Fleming with the arm bar trying to get up on his toes there to get a little extra leverage now see right there move. Fleming he had a, he had a, a hold on the guy a position he needed to take the assassin who's bigger and stronger down on the ground because when you get a guy on the ground that equalizes a lot of things when you get them down and they're immobile all right headlock right here from the assassin and there's the brains right there behind the assassin number one Paul Jones very intently watching the action in the ring Tully you had talked about you sticking with the rules you know I've had I've had several of the wrestlers that I've been in talking to uh, by Fleming as he went over the back of the assassin that I've been talking to and they say yeah Tully Blanchard will run out of the ring Blanchard's gonna run from you he's gonna get away he's gonna do anything to keep from losing and losing that day Mark Fleming not to get away from that Mark Fleming almost had a pinfall right there on the assassin well, and but I tell you what I tell you what getting back to that about the rules you got a 10 count to get back in the ring don't you that's right I'm always back in the ring I don't get disqualified sometimes I retreat to get the advantage and the winning is the most important thing and I win Mark Fleming made a mistake tripped on the mat cover oh no and, no, no. Uh, he didn't trip on the mat cover Paul Jones reached in and grabbed his foot Tully Bob you were looking at me talking to me now don't lie to the people at home the guy tripped He's a little bit lack of experience, and now the assassin's taking advantage of it. There's Jones again out of the ring, and boy, the assassin is really taking advantage of it. It was right on camera, and I'm sure all of you fans got an opportunity to see Jones get in there. Here's the assassin on the rope. As you say, that's better than 300 pounds, Tully. I would say it's better than 300 pounds. Right down with that knee on the Fleming, who was flat on the mat. Now, see, I, I disagree with that just a little bit. The assassin's got the man beat. She go beat him, go right. home, be happy, go to the bank. Headbutt. Boy, that sent him down. He really fell from that headbutt. Again, he's got him covered. And again, he lifted him up. That's twice, Tully. The assassin's definitely got, got Mark Fleming beat. Uh, I don't know what he's trying to prove. Again, let me remind you fans that we're not with us in but the But I can beginning. tell you what. You can guarantee Paul Jones is uh, down there calling the shots, so the assassin's just following orders. I was going to remind you again, if you weren't with us earlier, that right here with us, and you've been hearing him during this hour, is our NWA TV champion, Tully Blanchard. And Tully, I got to say, regardless of what I think of your of your methods in the ring and the way you wrestle and some of the things you do, uh, I've enjoyed this hour with you, and I tell you, it's been tremendous. I think you've done an outstanding job. Well, Bob, everybody enjoys being around classy people and you've had the pleasure of being around one for an hour and now look at the mask monster mask enjoy monster charges into the ring after the assassin and the uh, assassin and mosca standing toe to toe slugging it out mosca's gonna get into the mat and from behind here comes paul jones mosca charging after jones is gonna be hit from behind by the assassin and now again, they slug you got it out. two 300-pounders in there pounding on each other. And he had, oh, he had Paul Jones ripped a piece of his shirt or his clothing. 
Again, Mosca trying to get him down and get him on the mat, and it's Mosca who's down. Mosca with the assassin on the mat. Slugging oh, away. Oh, is just breaking loose. The bell, the referee, everybody trying to stop the action in the ring and to get them separated. Here's Paul Jones again up on the apron. Here comes Don Canoto. No, Don Canoto's not, Canoto. not in the ring. That's not Canoto, you're right. And they're going to hold Mosca. Oh, we got a ring full at the moment. Keith Larson. Yes. The referee can't get order. Resler's trying to get order. Oh, no one man move. can get order in there with this melee going on. And the assassin and Mosca go at it again. You got two 300 pounders like two Rams going at each other. And a ring pool trying to separate them and get them apart. And over the crowd goes Paul Jones. Again, trying to get another look in at Mosca. For a moment, they had them separated, and again, breaking loose, comes the assassin. And now it's Mosca who breaks free. He's going to the eyes. The mask in the eyes.